Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Now we are going to upgrade the firmware of Palo Alto 460 firewall and the process for upgrading the iOS is uh, almost same in all the Palo Alto firewall series except you have to be uh, sure that what is your source uh, iOS version and what is your destination iOS version, okay? So in the firmware upgrade, you cannot jump directly from the lower to the highest version of firmware. So for this one, you have to consult the release notes or you have to check with the Palo Alto or with your vendor that you have this specific uh, iOS version and you want to go with the, latest, uh, with the latest iOS version. So he will provide you the information, what is the intermediate version to reach from one source to another destination version. For example, if you have a version 8 or 9 or even version 10 and you want to go uh, for the version 11, so you cannot go directly from version 10.0 to version 11. You have to go for version 10 to version 10.1, then version 10.2 to 0. Like there is always a base iOS version you have to go first and then might be you go for some time in the intermediate release. Okay, so this uh, normally process is little tricky in the Palo Alto firmware update. So you have to consult either with the Palo Alto release notes or you have to consult with your vendor. So let's start our uh, lab for today and upload the iOS. I will share my screen now. Okay, so first I will, what I will do, I will go to the Palo Alto uh, website and I will uh, log into the customer portal and uh, you will just go to the Palo Alto and you'll, uh, you will find here option software release under the updates. Okay, so once you will click here, you will find um, the, the most of the, the past one or two year of uh, release uh, software. So for example, you can see here it's available till 2021. Okay, so uh, then I'll go to my Palo Alto firewall okay i'll go to the device in the device i'll go to the setup and before going for the upgrade it is always recommended to take the backup of your existing configuration or snapshot since i do not have uh, any any configuration so this is not uh, uh, for me but if you have your running palo alto firewall you have to take the backup just click here on the exported name configuration and from here you will make the running configuration xml so it will download your configuration and you are in the safe hand in case something happen you can uh, upload your configuration or your uh, information what you have saved it so after that i'll go to the uh, software in the software i will cancel this one no i'll keep as it is i will upload browse I will upload 10.1.8. Okay. My current version is 10.1.3, uh, I believe. 10.1.0. Okay. So I'll go to the 10.1.8, which is the highest version in my existing 10.1.3. Okay. I'll make it okay. So it is saved. So now I will do one thing. I will install 1018. Okay, so finally, uh, I successfully able to uh, upload uh, 10.1.8. So it asking for the reboot. 
so i'll make it reboot to make it effective I can do one thing. I will connect with my console, and we will see uh, the boot process on the CLI side as as well. So this is my CLI con CLI console now. So let's see, it's taking normally the long process to upload the IOS because it will go from uh, the standby mode to the active mode. So let's see. So welcome to Pan OS 11 version 10.1.8. Uh, okay, it's very fine. 10.13 instead of 10.1. 10, 10, so it's mean uh, mismatch between expected version. Okay, so it's mean there is uh, no issue. It is successfully able to load the iOS. Now in the next. Uh, uh, in the in the same continue in the in the same video, I will show you if I'll go with the wrong version. What is the response of Palo Alto Fireball? How it responds back to you, and what message it give you? So I will do one thing. I will upload directly uh, 11 version 11 from 10.1.8. Okay, and uh, I'll we'll see how it respond back.
okay so finally we are able to log in from the cli i hope uh, we can log in from here as well now yes Okay, so it is showing here the software version is 10.1.8. So I'll do one thing. Now I will do some uh, wrong upgrade and we'll see I already uploaded these files to save the time. So I will do one thing. I will not upgrade to 10.2.0. I'll go to version 11. Okay, and we'll see how the Palo Alto respond back. Again, it's giving a warning message to make sure that the upgrade version is uh, release update from the version currently running okay so i'll make it okay now it's trying to install version 11 you see guys immediately it uh, respond me ma uh, respond me back with the detail fail to install version 11.00 with the falling error okay so it's saying there is some content upgrading from 10.18 to 11 requires a content version of Okay, so there is some mismatch happen for this one. So I will do one thing. I will just upgrade directly to 10 to 0 and then I will do the upgrade to version 11. Still it's giving me the, the mismatch. So I have to check now the release notes to solve this issue because i believe after 1018 there is some another intermediate version in between 1018 in the end 1020 so i will just do one thing i will just go uh, because might be it will take uh, five to six more upgrades okay might be i have to go to this one let me try here Let me install this one. So guys, finally, I am successfully able to do another upgrade for, from version 10.1.8 to 10.1.8-H2. Okay, so you have seen that uh, how the update process is happen. The only thing which is you have to be careful and you have to plan well about the update parts that how you will start from one update to second one and you have to be information about this one if you are working in a live environment you have to plan well and then you have to go for the upgrade the only tricky part is only to know the information about the upgrade so i have done this upgrade i hope it is clear to you that how the update happen and what will happen to you if it is not an effective upgrade and how the Palo Alto respond you back. So thanks for watching my YouTube channel and please don't forget to subscribe and like this channel. Stay tuned and hope to see you with another video in the next section. Take care. Bye bye. Allah Hafiz.